Hey guys, the project we're working on today is actually a snow blower. Um, we're gonna hook up this actuator, this 12 volt actuator, so that it will move the chute up and down. And we're also gonna hook up this window wiper motor, uh, so it'll move the chute on the snow blower back and forth. I'm not gonna show you the fab work. What we're really talking about today is relays. And uh, these are five pin automotive relays. And the reason we're talking about these, um, this is a five pin uh, relay. I wanna show you guys how these work. And what we've actually done is uh, instead of using a double pull, double throw relay, which is kind of special order, I'm gonna wire up these single pull, double throw relays so that they do the exact same thing as a double, okay? So all I'm actually doing is the way these are wired up right now is I'm either going to ground this relay and open it up, or I'm going to ground this relay and open it up. And depending on which one I ground, the polarity on the wires, the blue wires coming out, changes. So right now, both wires are negative, okay? So these are hooked up to the negative terminal on the battery. When I ground this relay, it goes from negative to positive on this wire. And when I ground the other relay, it sends positive down the opposite wire. When these are both in a normally open condition, which means I'm not sending any power to them, both these wires are negative. And so by using a simple switch or a joystick, I'm either gonna send power to one relay or the other, but not both at the same time. If I sent power to both relays at the same time, both of these wires would be positive. So I throw the switch, my actuator moves, okay? Middle position, I throw the switch the other way, my actuator moves, okay? So you can use this, um, in your expedition vehicles, you can use this in all kinds of different ways, whether you're controlling external lights. These are 40 amp relays. So I'm not trying to send 40 amps through this switch. All I'm doing is grounding this, okay? So I can now control a 40 amp device by opening and closing these five pin relays, okay? Now this is wired up to run a motor. You can run a motor in forward or reverse, or you can use a single relay. Okay, so we're, we're gonna get, I'm gonna show you exactly how these relays work. I'm gonna show you how I wired them up and I'm gonna show you how to test them. You guys, uh, we're gonna talk about relays today. In order to do that, I'm gonna show you some switches and actually some relays. There's two terms we're really looking at here. Uh, the one term is a single pull, double throw, and a double pull, double throw. Okay, so what this means, if we're looking at a single pull, double throw, that can be represented by this switch, okay? So it's a single switch, single in, double out. So if I throw it here, that's one. If I throw it here, that's another one. That's the double, okay? So single pull, double throw. In order to get a double pull, double throw, I would actually need to connect these together as if they were one switch. Okay, so that would be uh, six terminals on here. And that would be a double pull, double throw. Now what we wanna do is we wanna run a motor in forward, we wanna run a motor in reverse. So that's either a wiper motor or that's an actuator. We can actually do that using relay, okay? So this is a standard five pin car relay. Now, I'm gonna show you what each of these pins is for and how that works. Okay guys, this five pin relay, I'm going to draw it out. See, you see what we have here, okay? So this is pin 86, this is 85, okay? These are what energize the magnetic coil inside. Doesn't matter, you can do positive and negative, negative and positive, it's irrelevant. As Soon as you do this, you energize the coil inside, the switch, uh, opens up or closes, whichever way you want to look at it, okay? Pin 30, which is on the bottom, this is your output, okay? So this is out. In the middle, we have 87A, and on the top, we have 87. Now, non-energize, no, no power to this relay. These two, 87A and 30, 
will be connected. So if you put positive power in here, you have positive power coming out. As soon as you energize this, 87 and 30 become connected. 87A becomes dead. Okay, so you can use this. This is a 40 amp. I mean, you can get these 20, 30, 40 amp relays. This is a, a single pull, double throw, single pull, double throw relay. We're gonna use two of these wired together to replace a double pull, double throw, okay? So if I take a second relay, once again, we put 30, we're gonna do uh, 87, 87A, 86, and 85. Now, we are going, what we really want for our motor down here, um, for our motor, it's a horrible motor, but this is my motor. We're gonna wire this to the motor. We're gonna wire this to the motor, okay? Currently, these are gonna be wired so that they are both negative, okay? So without any power to the relays, there's negative on both of these legs. That means I have negative power coming in here, okay? So that sends negative down both legs, and I have positive power at the top here. So what happens is if I energize this relay, suddenly positive power comes down here and negative is still on this side. The motor runs one direction. If I take the power off of this relay and move the power over to this relay, it sends positive power down this wire, while we still have negative on this wire, and sends the motor in the opposite direction. So, we've got negative in the middle, positive on the top. Normally closed is right here. When we open it up, we get positive. Now, we can only open one relay at a time, otherwise we'd be sending positive down both sides. So what we're gonna do is uh, really we just need positive on one of these. So why don't we just put positive here. We'll put positive here, okay? So that can be jumpered together, positive, 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 positive. Now, by putting negative to here or negative to here, that's gonna change the direction of our motors, okay? So this is a double pull, double throw. The reason I'm doing this with five pin relays is because I don't want a special order relays. There, I mean, there's a single relay that will do this whole thing. But I wanna go to the parts store in any small town, pick up new relays, be able to throw them in, okay? And so you can use this to run winches uh, in forward, in reverse, motors in forward and reverse, actuators in forward and reverse, okay? This works great. And whether you need 20, 30, or 40 amps, um, for us, we're gonna do two sets of uh, this system. So we're gonna do a double to move the actuator up and down. We're gonna do another double to move my chute on my snowblower from left to right. And that's gonna be controlled by a joystick. And so all we're gonna have is a joystick here, and that's a four pole joystick. And we are going to send negative either to here, or we're gonna send negative down to this side. And for the other motor, we will do the same thing on those relays. Okay guys, here we have uh, two five pin relays. We're just gonna test to make sure they're working. And it's pretty simple, because we're gonna hear them actually click when they're working, okay? Um, all you need to know is uh, if you see the orientation of these, I guess it doesn't really matter what the orientation is, but uh, this is uh, pin 86 on the far left, 85 on the far right. These are the ones that are hooked up to the magnet inside of here that we're gonna energize. It doesn't matter whether we put positive here and negative on the other side or vice versa, okay? So to see if these work, we're gonna put positive on one side, negative on the other. That is a working relay. Once again, we can reverse these if we want to. 
working relay, okay? This is a dead relay. There's no clicking. Now, what's happening here is when we energize, so non-energized, these, the middle pin and the bottom pin, this bottom pin which is number 30, but the middle pin and 30 are connected together, okay? As soon as we energize these, pin 87 at the top and pin 30 at the bottom are energized, are connected together, okay? So by energizing this, all we're doing is flicking the switch between this uh, 87A pin and 87 pin, okay? So all we're doing is moving back and forth between these like a light switch by energizing the coil inside of here, okay? So here we go. Hey guys, just thought we'd show you the end result of what we've done with all of those relays and how we're controlling an actuator and wiper motor. Basically, this is just a box from Home Depot. Uh, we have power, uh, constant power running up here, and we also have ignition power. So this is only energized when the ignition is on. This is actually the wire I use to uh, power the relays. So there's power going into the box all the time that is fused. This is used to uh, flick the relays open and close. So if there's no ignition, there's really nothing going on inside the box. Um, this is just uh, a six inch joystick. And this is a four position momentary uh, joystick. So it always swings back to zero. Um, and really all we've done here is I've grounded one whole side. So this is all negative on this side. And depending on which way I set, uh, push the joystick, these get grounded. And each of these represents a relay inside the box. So I'm either putting power through one relay or the other. And so there's four relays in here. These two are for the chute. Uh, and these are to rotate the chute, okay? The rest of it is just, uh, I mean, it's just, a, just some extra wire and stuff in here. I didn't shorten these up. I had lots of box space and stuff in here. Um, so there is a fuse in here as well, just in case. And then we've made a little bit, a uh, little magnetic mount to hold this whole box on here. So we can just pop it on and off pretty easy. Uh, coming out of the box, once again, just four wires. Two for the wiper motor, two for the actuator. They run down. This is a Kubota F2400 snow, uh, front mow with uh, Bearco snow blower on the front. So uh, Bearco doesn't make this for this Kubota, but we've built our own um, adapter plate so that we can run this snow blower. We've built our own shaft for this. And then if you come around this side here, this is uh, what's working. So we've got an actuator. This actuator actually came with the Bearco snowblower. It now actuates the chute. And then down here, we have a wiper motor that's hooked up to the auger gear here that turns this all back and forth. Uh, once again, this is actually the wiper motor that Bearco would sell you. And all we've done to uh, get this to connect to the shaft, this is a piece of pipe and then there's a 12 point socket welded onto the end of this. So it's all one piece, that 12 point socket connects to the gear inside this housing, okay? So not overly complicated. Um, you wanna see it work? We've got the ignition key on right now. This is up and down. And then our rotation. Anyways guys, that's all those four relays that is, uh, I've used those single pull double throw relays and turned them into double pull double throw. And so now if uh, any of those relays go, we can just run down to the hardware store and we can quickly replace them.